Welcome to That's a Wrap, the channel where I review TV shows, movies, and movie trailers, and I dabble a little bit in theories. Today, we will be reviewing the trailer for the upcoming Disney Plus miniseries, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. But before I get into my review, if you are enjoying the content, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell for notifications. I will greatly appreciate it. And now, on to the review. The legacy of that shield is complicated. Upside down. People need something to get behind. They need the symbol. So, what's our plan? So no plan. Hey. Great. in that cyborg brain of yours. You don't want to know. Oh, yeah, I can see it working. Gears turning. Oh, they're malfunctioning. They're on fire. God, I hate you. But before I get into the actual review of the trailer, I'm just putting this out there. I know I'm gonna take the side like many when they, when WandaVision came out, the consensus was, why are they making this show? And that's how I felt with these two. It, it, I feel it a bit forced for what we have seen. I'm sure it's most likely going to be great, but the first time we see these two characters come together is Civil War. And yes, there was that little part where they're fighting Spider-Man and, and you hear, you know, when Spider-Man throws the web and they're stuck to the floor and they have that banter and, you know, Bucky, you know, they said, oh, you, you couldn't have done that quicker. And he goes, oh, I hate you. And I guess it was funny. I mean, it was funny that scene. And then we we have it at the at Endgame when we see old man cap and you know bucky kind of tells him hey go go over there it's all you know you and and it's uh, this reunion is about you and or falcon and old man cap or captain america and then all of a sudden we have a mini series with them so i'm assuming that because they're both the close friends of captain america that that's the reason that they are together and, and becoming this dynamic duo, apparently. Even though in uh, one of the trailers, they're basically saying like, hey, we're not friends, we're not this, we're just co-workers, basically. So I, the relationship feels forced, but again, I, I'm sure that Marvel Studios and the storytelling that they're going to to put forth is going to be awesome. So I'm, I'm not doubting the great Kevin Feige and his vision for this miniseries. But anyways, I just wanted to get that out. It feels kind of forced. So the trailers are awesome. I like the music. I like the action. I like the way everything, the visuals of this miniseries. 
are getting me hype, which is what they're supposed to do. And this show has a lot to live up to, given the fact of the huge success that WandaVision had is like a batter coming behind, you know, this home run hitter and he hits it out of the park, the, the guy in front of you and now you're up to bat and you're expected to do something as great as what, what was just in front of you. So we'll, we'll see if it hits that same notes. I know there's a couple of YouTubers that have been privileged enough to to have already seen the first episode and they're just talking nothing but praise from this uh, from what they watch you know i'm assuming marvel studios chose a couple of people or a couple of channels to be able to watch the first episode and at least give a vague review out of it which you know they again they've just been singing the praises out of it so um i'm looking forward to it and i i know a bunch of mcu fans and non-mcu fans are looking forward to it uh just because we're in full swing we're in full mcu uh, mode at this point given the fact that we had WandaVision now we have the Falcon and the Winter Soldier and given the fact that Disney executives said or told us that Black Widow is set to come out on I think May I want to say May 7th but I'm not I'm sure that's wrong but it's set to come out in theaters in May so we're full on in uh, in Marvel mode right so I will say this though about the trailers. There's that one scene, I think it's called like, uh, do we have a plan where Bucky and Falcon are going back and forth. Well, basically Bucky, Falcon's being Falcon and being vague. And Bucky says, hey, what's the plan? Oh, no plan and stuff like that. But, and Falcon's going, you know, to jump out of the plane and he goes, oh, I have a plan. And Bucky goes, well, what's the plan? And Falcon just jumps out of the plane. Maybe it's just me, but that felt like a little bit of a call back to the original Avengers. So what's our plan? Great. So no plan. 30 seconds! Enjoy your ride, Buck. No, you can't call me that. Why not? That's what Steve called you. Steve knew me longer, and Steve had a plan. 15 seconds to drop! I have a plan. Really? What is it? Now there's that guy. Another Asgardian? That guy's a friendly? Doesn't matter. If he frees Loki or kills him, the Tesseract's lost. Stark, we need a plan of attack. I have a plan. Attack. A movie where Captain America and Iron Man are in the plane and they're escorting, or they have Loki in the plane. Thor comes down, takes Loki, and jumps out of the plane. Iron Man's about to go chase after Thor and Loki. Captain America says, hey, what's the plan? And Iron Man says something to the effect like, I have a plan. And he jumps out of the plane and goes after Thor and Loki. It felt like a little bit of the of that in that the Fal in the Falcon and the Winter Soldier scene, maybe a little bit of a, of a homage, but definitely a callback, at least for me and the way I saw it to that Avengers movie and especially to that scene. And even Bucky's reaction was a little bit Captain America-ish, if you will. But let me know what you guys thought. Am I, am I wrong in that? I thought it was a little bit of a callback. But yeah, so I'm hype. I can't wait to see it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, how excited are you? What are some of the things that you're looking forward to in this miniseries? And like always, that's a wrap.